What does that blue thing do? Oh. Nothing. Clicks loud. Sounds like it's making a no sound. Oh, you're back at the froggy. Yeah, we're going back to that spinny room. Oh, I think you got it turned up a little bit more than you did before. It seems a little loud, no? Alright, I guess I'm just it's crazy. It's just a little loud. I think I turn it down a little further. You just do that. See how this fucking blow is going roller coaster ride again. Guess this should just be called like roller coaster tycoon. I maybe you've just named your own episode for yourself in the future. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, I never noticed that jump before. Yeah, that scare you? That, a little bit. Make you a little, little Man, nervous. When they eventually make like Riven VR, that's gonna be some shit right there. Yeah, like they're ever gonna make that shit. I think someone will. Maybe not Cyan, but one can only hope. I have one VR game right now. I think I have two. It's Just Serious Sam. Oh, that's weird. Uh, honestly, going to, like, Mist in VR is maybe the only VR thing that I'm excited for in any way. What about Resident Evil? I don't give a shit. I mean, I've heard that it's good, but I don't give a... What is that? What is it? Was that a person? That was a person's face. Who was it? Inside this shit right here. And you know, there that's the same as where that chair was uh -huh. that we used to open this door in the first place. Mm-hmm. How'd you know about that? That That's the door we came in from originally. How'd you know about that one? We already saw this. <laughs> He was sitting in this chair a second ago. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's somebody else here. Oh, you want to see what he saw? I want to see, because he, it looked like he was, like, looking through this. <coughs> Why would he be doing that? He's just being a little Snoopy Samson. Looks like but he can't. I hear a noise. Can you look up or something? Or... Can you push the button again? That'll get me out of the chair. Oh. Maybe it's just like uh. sucking your life force out. Oh. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I guess I can... Well, let me see if I can just look around the chair a little bit more. Maybe it's a man-milking machine. Like, oh, you, like you, this know, is you all... can't look down, but something came out from down there and it's just... I remember being at a fucking, I don't know if I'd call it a flea market, but maybe a flea market in Alaska, and there was some, like, massage chair, but it was like, oh, there's, like, spikes that you put your feet on, and, like, the, the, the fucking arm things roll underneath mm -hmm. your arms or whatever. And I remember that mom told me it was, like, a dirty chair. That's a chair for adults. And, like, a long time later, I thought back, and I'm like... Was that supposed to be a chair that, like, jacked you off? Like, what the fuck do you mean a chair for adults? I don't think it was. I, think I don't think it was. I think it was just, like, a new massage chair. Yeah. Remember this room? Mm-hmm. Well, I think we want to go across some of these ladders, and I think we should be able to. So, welcome to this puzzle. Okay. Oh, well... Okay, so this is the place we came in. Mm-hmm. You, you gotta move the thing room around again. So another thing that I've learned... Yeah. Is I can skip animations. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that where you wanted to go? I don't remember. I remember last time I was here, we, like, I was doing all this in my head, but honestly, I was going to keep doing this, because it doesn't take that long to just go in, over and check what's there. Yeah, I mean, you got like 10 more minutes of this to go before yeah. we got to make him not watch it again for another couple days or something. I know it's locked! You can skip that animation. I can. <laughs> so this is the one we pressed before that when I was getting us caught up, I forgot to come in here and oh. press. Because that's just for the that thing that I ran into the ground. Oh. Otherwise, I don't think... Oh! Did you just have a thought? Oh, I thought that was going to do something else. What'd it do? 
I think I might have opened that door, so maybe that is still like oh oh oh. But I thought the room was gonna start spinning and I'd be able to get somewhere else that'd from back be, there. That'd be dumb if that was just how you open that. The this? Yeah. Well there's multiple gated doors, so we're just gonna keep yeah. doing this for a while, but Okay, so there is there's that one. And there's that one. I know. What'd you do? I don't know. I actually clicked on on a, a little behind the scenes window right there. <laughs> Maybe I bought ribbon multiple times throughout my life, and to get it to work, I went and pulled the ISO off of something. Maybe I didn't. Who's to say? <laughs> Well, they already know that we own it because that was the first version. Yeah, because the Steam, the Steam one was yeah, exactly us playing on the Steam. Well, this one's not open either. There's one more. Oh, there's not one more, is there? No. Then what the fuck was that thing for? I don't know. I don't bro. know what that thing was for, bro. How was Gantz? <laughs> I mean, I get to talk about that sometimes. I'm not trying to figure this stuff out, but it All was right. fine. It was okay. We'll save. We'll save the actual review for another episode. Yeah, that's a look teaser. forward to it. It's a movie. This. It's a movie about a corgi that sniffs women's crotches. A corgi wasn't in there. Oh, that's corgi terrible. wasn't there. Thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> fucking thumbs up, thumbs down. Fuck you, Netflix. I'm not a fucking toddler. Thumbs up and thumbs down. Oh. Oh yeah. When I finished watching, uh, son-in-law, there was a. Uh, you know how. Netflix gives you, like, the next thing to, you should watch, like, Oh, if you like this, you'll want to watch this. Uh-huh. On the, well, at least it does it on the PlayStation. I don't know if it does it on... Will you stop that? Well, it's a windowed game, and so it's a little tricky. Well, then move that shit away from the window. It's too late for right now. We're already playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, it gave a suggestion of Trailer Park Boys, which I've already seen up to season 11. To the new, newest season. But I haven't watched any of the newest season yet. But it didn't say, like, Trailer Park Boys. It had the title of the first episode. Mm -hmm. And the title was... Uh, was it was it Jerk Your Cock Furry Slut Whore? Something like that. Something like, and I'm like, There's yeah. There's a furry slut whore in it. Yeah, no, I'm good. I want to see it. Would the you, gate is open! What'd you do? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, that first one we hit opened the default door here, which led to a closed door, but when uh, I turned around, there was another little lever, and I hit dumb. that, and that one opened up this one, and now we are inside the fucking Golden Dome and shit, and also I see a fucking, I saw a button there for a second, and Where? so that probably makes this spin in crazy ways, oh. but right now... I don't think we want to go, but we'll click on that in a second. Let's just, go over just here. Go in there. Let's just go in here. What is that? Uh, that's the thing from Star Wars Episode Five in the snow. That's the probe. Hot pocket. Hot pocket. We're just doing Jim Gaff again now. Yeah, he's a. I heard a little thing with him on the radio. They were talking to him, and they asked him like if he regrets doing the hot pocket joke, <laughs> and he's like, no, he's. He's, he's come to, uh... Oh, look at that. Look at that ladder. You can... You I can... hit this lever. I thought I'd go down. Maybe it's... You need to hit something else. Maybe, Maybe it was already <sighs> down and I put it up. No. I think, uh... If you look, does that go to where all those other pipes were? So, this is... I'm thinking it's a lot like the telescope I ran into the ground. But yeah, they're all coming. Oh, they're all coming from the dome. I think they might all be coming from the probe in the middle. Um, but he's he's embraced it. I'm not just gonna assume that when I get up there, I can make it move. Maybe he's embraced hot pockets. Yeah, he's just embraced that that's a part of his life, and it'll like he's he's proud that it's lasted so long. Because his defense is that usually like gimmicks like that only last a year or two, and then people forget about it. That's fair. But people have not forgotten Hot Pocket. Kind of like people have not forgotten you might be a redneck. Well, that one, he has made sure that people don't forget. That's Stop that! Look, we have folders, alright? 
We have folders. And now they can pause and see what all of them are. No, I've censored that every time. So I, now who's a goof? I doubt it. Now who's a goof? Maybe I didn't tell you about it one time. Maybe I wrote it down in a notepad after we were done here. <laughs> oh, look, there's a bunch of shapes. Mm. This got me stuck for a real fucking long time when I was young, but when not, I was playing this originally. Now. No, because now I know that it's not all the dumb shit I was thinking about. I was like, maybe this is a number system. This is like 31, 22... 221. No! They're just fucking shapes! <laughs> Spoilers! They're just shapes! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in here and start hitting this button, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna skip that sound animation. I'm not, because I guess maybe you, you have to have heard the sound once to skip it. Okay. It's a pleasant sound. Oh, look at this. It's just a little wall right there now. Alright. Just get this. Give me the button. I can't see. No, not that one. There. Thank you. Nope. Can't skip this one. You can't skip noises. Maybe you can only skip animations. Oh, I don't know. So then, this leads to that. Door. Okay, that's something that might be useful later. All right. No, actually, that's the only options, isn't it? I don't remember. That's not a thing that is remembered by uh, me currently. Yeah. Okay, so this is uh, the Adventures of Button Pushing. Also known as Missing Ribbon. <laughs> well, I guess you hit levers sometimes. Yeah. You don't hit levers, like you pull them usually, or push them. We in the business say hit. We in the lever business. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Spacely sprockets. Yeah. Good job. We can go back to bed. All right. <laughs> your, your buddy kept getting up at, at night. That happens. I swear he woke me up like four times. I slept pretty soundly. I had a dream where I went back to college once every once in a while, and at the end of the class, I would turn into Kermit the Frog and do a stand-up act. Like, literally change into Kermit the Frog? Yeah. Well, because then it's like the implication is maybe I was Kermit the Frog the entire dream, and I just didn't realize it until I would do the stand-up acts. Mm. But yeah, I was definitely Kermit when I was doing the stand-up acts. Did you say it ain't easy being green in your in your dream? No, I don't remember. I mean, I was killing. People were like really digging the stand-up, but I don't remember what the jokes were like. I did it. What did you just do? I closed the door. <laughs> oh, I the door. He's not there anymore. No. Um, I didn't have any dreams last night. I didn't get into that, into that state. And I had one the other night, but it, and it was interesting, but I've already forgotten what it was. I have a, so one of the alarms that I use to wake up uh, requires me to type at least like 15 characters in. It's supposed to be a dream diary. And I am amazed how often I don't remember a dream. Oh, it's, yeah, no, it happens all the time. Like the ones I remember the most are the, the nightmares usually, so. But I guess those make the biggest impression. I remember some of the real weird ones. Yeah, I had one, a recurring one when I was a kid that was, uh, which the weirdest thing about it was usually when you're like in your house or something, it's different. Like, yes. It's not your house. It's your house, but it's not your house. Yeah. But this one was exactly my house. Mm. Um, and then like everything was going along as normal. And then, uh, I found like one of my family members dead in the closet. Okay. And then we were getting attacked by a giant outside the house and we had to stay away from windows and stuff because he'd just reach in and just like attack on Titan, just pop you with his hand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then that was it. I would I, that's one of those nightmares where I would sleep through the whole thing and I would never wake up part with part late. <laughs> I never wake up partway through it. I just have to like survive the water. Yeah. 
those fucking assholes. It's a weird bug thing, but we're getting close to it next time. So I mean, yeah. Well, I'm at a point where now I'm like, well, that didn't work, and I'm just kind of looking around. Okay. Okay, submarine's still here. Good. But yeah, that was one of the worst nightmares for me because it was so... It's not one where you would just wake up from it in the middle of the night and then you could go back to bed and have like either no dreams or normal dreams. Mm -hmm. You just had to suffer through it. That's an axe. That's an axe. I wanted to click on it, but nothing happened. But we gotta do it next time. Well, next time I'm gonna keep walking around in this forest place. Have we been here before? Yeah, this is how we got to... uh... Oh, look, there's an angry fish. Okay, we'll stop there.